So um, I do a lot of swimming and I just felt that there was something wrong with my ear but I kept thinking it was just had water in or had a bit of an infection and then it started making funny noises and I went to see my GP who referred me to an ENT surgeon and from there my symptoms just became worse. So I was diagnosed with a sphenoid wing meningioma, um, quite an interesting tumour that is mostly prevalent in women over 50 and I had just had my 50th birthday, so <laughs> it just waited for that to present. I was not in a position to go for surgery at the time because I had some work commitments coming up. So I was diagnosed in mid-February and, the, and then I went to see a neurosurgeon at Panorama and then had a craniotomy for removal of the meningioma. And then I had a fairly uneventful recovery to that, but then the neurosurgeon just said that the tumour hadn't been removed completely. It was just difficult to get to the parts. It was quite a, a complicated tumour. I'd had two or three people prior to that had said, have I heard about Prof Libba and the work she's doing? About halfway through the radiation, my oncologist suggested I go and see her. And one or two people before that had mentioned it, so I just said, yes, I think this is now right. This is the third person to mention it. And then he was proactive in getting me involved and getting me to see her. And by now I just knew she was such a pioneer in the work she was doing and she was just such a go-getter. I really wanted to be part of the treatment program. And what she then suggested was an anterior approach where she just goes through the eye and does endoscopic surgery through the eye and then approaches from that side and makes a very small incision, very much smaller than the craniotomy. And yet, you know, the work she does is actually not that different to a craniotomy, just with much smaller instruments and, and very fine work. 